Welcome to Engineered Rigging, your premier partner for all lifting solutions. Welcome to our how-to video on the JS500 Jackup System, your go-to guide for mastering this revolutionary heavy lifting technology. The JS500 Jackup System is more than just a piece of equipment, it's a game changer in the world of heavy lifting. With its modular design, advanced control features, and robust safety measures, Mastering the JS500 Jackup system is within your reach. Okay, so when it comes to out of the box, step by step process for any one of these machines, we need to talk to the expert, Mike, Vice President over at Engineered Rigging. Today we're talking JS500. Tell me about it. All right, JS500, it's our biggest machine in the fleet. And, you know, when we when we send it out, there's a lot of thought that goes into it. Um, first things first, the, the machine itself is quite heavy. So, you know, we're talking about 20 tons for the base of the leg, um, you know, with the, with the top barrel in it. So somebody's got to be able to pick it up. Of course, we can put it on a truck here, but then on the receiving end of it, they have to have the equipment to be able to get it off the truck. Um, it's going to take about eight truck loads to get it out to a site. So we start thinking about that. There's a plan that has to be put into place uh, to make sure that that site's able to accept those trucks. Um, you know, it's a project machine, so when we look at it, generally somebody's not going to be like, hey, you got a JS500 because I need it next week. It's going to be months of planning to make sure that the 2,000 tons that we can lift with this is going to be properly um, set up on the ground. Um, it's going to interact with the load properly. And, the, you know, making sure that the support that goes around a machine like this is in place. Step two, it's you, you, your grounds all secure. Yep. Ready to start lifting. Step what happens two, next? you know they're gonna they're gonna get out their dunnage. They're gonna set it up on the ground. They're gonna make sure it's level. So if I had if I'm off by let's say a quarter of inch on a machine like that, um, it's gonna mean a big distance at the at the top. So we have to be level. Um, we need to be set up where we are. And that machine is an incremental lifter. So we've got you know se 700 millimeters of, of barrel for each step, and those barrels have to go at the same time. So either I have to have my barrel set up at the same plane, or I need to have my top barrel adjusted so that you know we're, we're at the same plane. Because if I try to adjust this barrel, then this barrel, then this barrel, it doesn't work that way. Right. So barrels come in together and we're set up. So we get it set up, we're all flat and level. Um, then we'll go ahead and make sure we have our barrels staged. So they have to be someplace where you know they're easily accessible with either a forklift or maybe a crane to be able to set that up and um, then we're ready to go. So we've got, you know, normally there'll be an operator um, either from our client or we can supply one, um, but then they'll be setting out there and there we've got the operator at the computer and then we've got, you know, probably somebody either at a pair of legs or maybe one at each leg, depending on the job site and how far apart the, the legs are. So. So once you have that, you know, whatever the initial stack is to kind of make up that dead space between the JS system and the lift, um, and if we're coming up underneath the bridge, we might have a pretty big stack. Sometimes we're lifting something up into place, so we'll be, you know, kind of probably right underneath the structure that we're coming up with. Um, we're ready to go. We set a barrel on the tray. Normally, again, it's with a forklift or something like that, but it could be um, with a crane. Um, We'll set it on the tray. Each one has has a barrel on it. The operator then is ready to go. Probably call out to the team with a radio or something like that and say, hey, okay, are you guys ready? They'll give them the go ahead and then we'll go ahead and, and hit the up button. Okay, what happens next? So um, in automatic mode, uh, when we hit the up button, the system will come up to a certain height, grab the barrels with the, uh, the locking mechanism, and then they'll transfer the load to the locks and start lifting. And they're really, what they're doing is they're lifting whatever's on top of that top barrel. Um, if, the, if the load's there, great. If it's just the top barrel, we're making up that space. We'll start lifting, the system will see the load and it's looking for, um, you know, if I have a 500 ton tower, probably not lifting 500 tons, I'm lifting three or 400. So it's looking for that load and saying, all right, I either have it or I don't. If it sees it, then it goes ahead and keeps lifting. If it doesn't see it, it gives you an error and says, look, Something's not right here, and uh, then you know there'll be some conversation. So it sees the load, keeps going up, makes the space for the barrel. Once it gets up, then the barrel through the tray system will will slide in, 
um, it'll get set down on the base and then the load transfer will happen where the, the column, the stack of barrels above it will come down, transfer the load, box will come out and then it'll come down, rinse, repeat. What are some of the garden variety issues there? Yeah, so normally it would be a load. So, you know, a lot of times with this kind of thing, we're looking at um, an estimate from an engineer. So it could have been a structure from a demolition standpoint that was built maybe 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, it's coming down. Somebody said, okay, it weighs approximately this much, you know? So we look at it and we say, all right, either our load is too high or too low, that kicks an error, mm. right? So we're trying to dial that in so that we're only putting out enough energy to lift whatever it is. We don't yeah. want to have excess stored energy out there um, and vice versa. Yeah. So um, that could be one, um, you know, power, you know, these things pull a lot of power. So often they're hooked up to generators. Um, and you'll see where maybe a generator is not properly sized or the electrical is not set up right. So chasing that down and getting it right is, is probably one of the other things. And then it could be ground. You know, sometimes as much as you think you set it up on, on heavy, firm ground, you know, these things put down a pretty hard footprint. Yeah. So, um, you know, we want to look when we're initially taking up the load that our, our ground base isn't trying to settle at all or do something that we're not expecting. How does this thing get set up? Tell me about that process. Sure. Um, you know, really it's, we want to have them on that same plane. In the case of a site like this, if, you know, if I have to assemble 2000 tons, it's bigger than a normal lift. So to set up something where everything's flat and level, we probably have survey gear, yeah. you know, so we're going to set it up. We'll have survey gear out there, make sure the bases are at the same level. Um, and then we want, you know, if I'm going to run a header beam or something like that, I want to make sure that the, the legs are actually parallel to each other um, so that, so that, you know, when I'm lifting, things are in the right spot. Because it's hard to tell if my column is going to be at the right, at the right spot here when I'm down on ground level when I get 50 foot up in the air. So I want to make sure that those contact pads and other things are going to be in the right spot. And a lot of extra planning and measuring in advance will save you a lot of heartache later. Yeah. It's step one, unload all the trucks. Yep. Step two, um, you know, make sure that your dunnage and everything for your foundation of the gear is set up and level. Yes. Set the gear normally with a crane or could be a heavy, heavy forklift. Yes. Um, step four, it will be get all your <clears throat> network connectors out. So you're going to run all your wires leg to leg. Make sure that's set up. You're going to then do step five, which would probably be um, set up the power, so you've got your generator, your power distribution boxes, and all of your electrical cables. Yes. Get those set out to the legs. Um, and then we'll set up the computer. Yes. Um, we'll hook that into the network cables. We'll fire it up, make sure we have communication with everything. Make sure that the manual controls work on the uh, controllers. Make sure we have communication with all the sensors. Yes. Um, fire it manually without a load. Make sure everything's running the way we want it to. Um, and then we'll, we'll start packing in the barrels. If we can top load barrels, we will. Um, if we have a lot of space to make up or we'll load them in through the barrel trays, lifting them manually in automatic cycle mode until we get them to where we need them for lifting. Um, make sure all our parameters are set for the expected loads and then we're ready to lift. It's a very heavy lifter and you know, if you tried to compare it to uh, a crane or something that would do that, it would be probably a multi-crane pick. You know, I talked about uh, eight truckloads of equipment. A crane like that would take 50 truckloads, yeah. 60 truckloads, you know, if you could even get it. So. If I were to ask you, why this over um, a, a crane like that? I mean, this is this is ground-based, heavy lifting under, under perfect control, right? Mm -hmm. So um, you're lifting hydraulically and then you're mechanically held. So from a safety standpoint, we don't have suspended loads where we have, uh, um, you know, risks of fall. Um, of course, there's risks inherent to everything, but uh, when we look at it, a crane is going to be an exceptionally large piece of equipment to do the same amount of work versus something like this. Is a, even if the foot is nine by nine, it's still a, a really heavy, um, uh, I guess, tonnage per per square footage. Is, is so a, we're talking one of the big reasons it's a little bit safer. It's safer. Yeah. It's it's smaller. Mm -hmm. um, safer, smaller, and it's under control, you know, yeah. so it's going to be very slow and steady, predictable. Um, you know, certainly a crane could do the work, but this is going to be something that's going to be, you know, doing the work in a very, very specific way. Yeah.
Hey, man. Thanks for your time. That was yeah. super informative. Appreciate you. Thanks. All right, man. You All got right. it. Yep. yep. The JS500 Jackup system is more than just a piece of equipment. It's a game changer in the world of heavy lifting. With its modular design, advanced control features, and robust safety measures, mastering the JS500 Jackup system is within your reach. The JS500 Jackup system. Elevate your lifting operations today. Engineered rigging. Your people, our equipment.